as we have last left the off, the party, having said goodbye to Corgrin temporarily, ventured off to the frontier. They found themselves ah, in the middle of a, an interesting establishment. Apparently, upon when leaving, they found themselves in the streets of the frontier, the city itself. Uh, very hot, very untrustworthy. There's a lot of side glances, a lot of hushed murmurs going around, and it was soon enough that you found out the city is knee-deep in cultists, and not just one cult, dozens, hundreds of cults, all of them fighting each other, and the problem with cultists is that you don't know who is a cultist and who isn't. You met with Nixual Sandscale, the magnate of the frontier, um, and the various representatives of the two largest towns outside the frontier, Shantyshield and uh, West Town. They told you that one thing unifies all of the cultists more than anything else, and that is the drive to find the lost summoning pit uh, from the War of Argoneft. Each cult believes that if they could find this pit, they could use it to summon demons and become the greatest and strongest cult and bend all the other cults to their will. Um, until then, they are spread out, causing massive amounts of chaos and damage within the city. And Nixual's Oasis Spears, the local guard and military force, have their hands full, not just controlling things on in the frontier but in the outlying regions as well uh, he's got no forces to spare so if you can take care of the cultists then he can spare some forces to join your rebellion so you've made your way having been introduced to uh, nick shaw's right hand man left into the ruined taint which has been abandoned and sort of kind of boxed off uh, from the Oasis, with the Oasis Spears due to the amount of undead and cult activity in here. Um, you found some clues onto where to start. You're looking for a tiefling by the name of Conspiracy, um, who apparently made contact with uh, the cult, the Sons of the Black General, uh, the Sons of the Black General. Apparently Conspiracy had uh, a clue or evidence that suggests to where the location of the lost pit is. So, following trails or rumours or even, you know, just hunches, you have come into the ruined taints to look for conspiracy. Um, as is whilst there, you have been ambushed by royalist assassins that are moving in to surround you and attack you as we speak. So, to start things off, can I get initiative, please? Minus Russ left Barry and Ferretti. Okay, so starting from the very top of the round is OT. Just want to clarify some things of what we can actually see. Um, sure. Obviously, um, how the wall in front of us, this wall here, is this a full wall or is it crumbled? Uh, most of the walls here are crumbled and or chest high, so you can you can duck out behind them and get cover. Okay, but we can see over the top of them, so we can pretty yes, can. much see all of the guys that are yes, about. Yes, you can. Okay. That's right. They they have some elevation on you, but um, uh, you can see you can see them. They they okay. probably have. I'd say they have quarter cover at the moment, or half cover even. And how tall is this little ridge? 
probably no more than four to six feet or so in between. Um, it's not going to be difficult for you to get up it, really. It's just sort of, one. if you drop prone, it would give you three quarters cover. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to come and stand over here, um, and I'm going to fire bolt this guy here. Okay, make a ranged spell attack, please. Yeah, uh, fire bolt. 18? 18, uh, that will be a hit. Roll damage. 25 Ooh, 28. So, you can see part of the wall blows up, the sand <laughs> blasting everywhere. You can see you can see this guy um, has been scorched heavily and it's like Aah! and he's uh, scuffling to try and find more cover uh, closest to him. And I'm just going to kind of come take another step closer in, in this gap over here. All right. So I'll give you half cover uh, okay. being behind that wall there. Okay. All right. Renis, you're up. <coughs> Okie doke. Renas is going to make his way to this wall on the edge. He's going to duck down and try and hide. Next stealth wall. Do, 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 do. You are stealthed. You are stealthed. Um, and then I am going well, to shoot. None of you teammates who are like, where the hell? Where the fuck is Renas? <laughs> yeah. So I should be fully visible by everyone behind me, but even those have, I've just vanished. No, Russ said they were going to, but they haven't been able to because they haven't had a turn yet. Um, so I will then shoot this guy with the SS Manti bow. Okay. 30 to hit. 30 will definitely hit him. Are you hitting this guy over here? Uh, so I have my character sheet. It's this guy right there. Go ahead and roll damage. I clicked it. There we go. Hey. Look at all those ones. That is just <laughs> sad. Oh. <sighs> Only fifty uh, damage. No, you ha no, you haven't cast anything, Russ. Um, so that's uh, how much? Fifty. Nice. Yeah. So as you fire the bow, boom, simple arrow itself actually blasts through the brick wall. The stone go, <laughs> and you can see him clutching his chest where you've hit him he splutters out blood from his face <laughs> and he's just disoriented that his cover is destroyed by a simple fire from your bow sucks to be you mate, uh, you, mate? that is me all right russ you are up but just a quick reminder that i will get another turn after left yes <clears throat> russ you're muted at the moment. Oh, sorry. I will try something a bit different, and I will sure. cast Hold Person, but at fourth level. And I will aim okay. for the three that are southmost, just not the guy up here. So... That not guy, this one. That guy... Yeah. And... That guy? Yeah, within oh. they're, they're all within 60 feet, as far as I measured. Yes, yes. Okay, so that's going to be three wisdom saving throws. They're not proficient in them. <coughs> 11, 9, and 12. So all fails. They're all paralyzed. <coughs> you see them just lock up in their body. Um, the guy who got shot in the uh, in the chest, he's like, <coughs> he just kind of falls over backwards, dust <coughs> blows up in the air. Alright, anything else um, from your ass? Yes, I will... Give Bardic inspiration to Renus. Alright, how will you inspire I'll Renus? I'll, I'll just be like looking for it. I'll be like, wherever the fuck you are. Just I, I am visible it, now because yeah, I fired a shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll just be like, stab the shit out of him. Don't know what accent that was, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so you are inspired to stab the shit out of him, Renus. Alright. Sounds then. bad. Left, you're up. Uh, so... Can I make it to this individual over here? I measured it as 30, 25 foot. Yeah, so basically you just, you're basically just sort of, uh, like, kind of chest hop over that, that yeah. wall there. And just, like, you're 
moving in the in the dust and the sand, but it's not difficult to rain. You'll just be. Look at all the things there. you can jump over when you're not a four foot dwarf. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Um, and I'll just sprint over, just kind of hop over the uh, the the wall there and the second yep. wall there, um, trailing um, my great sword behind me, and then just coming for an upward slash um, on this individual. Um, so I will because he's paralyzed. Yep, I will be making these as great weapon master as well. Of course. So that's one hit. 27 definitely hits. Two hits. Yep. And I believe I get, yep, three attacks per action. Mm -hmm. More than the tip, really? <laughs> uh, 18 hits as well. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, so that's one, two, three. And that's plus 30 damage for each, uh, in total, for those. So 11, 25, uh, shit, 40 plus 30. Great weapon. No, it's, it's, it's not 45, it's, um, 40 plus 30, 70. Oh, sorry, so the 18 actually might not hit, because that's minus 5 to the, ace, uh, to the attack. Three, four, so the no, 18... That would, that would not hit, then. No. Fair enough, so just the 11 and the 15. We make a Can you stack right weapon master with extra attack? As I'm aware, you can just use it as and when, and you just I'm take just a minus gonna, five. I'm just going to double quick minus. It's a great weapon master stack. Great weapon master gives you one extra bonus attack. 10 damage. That's... Is it the melee version of my sharpshooter? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Except when you kill something or crit, you can use it as a bonus action as well. You can use it, you can do a melee yeah. attack as a, as a bonus action. I see. Yeah, I'll just say, well, I mean, I'll, I'll look into it later, but let's just go with, yeah, yeah you do all that extra damage. So that is, uh, so you'll miss the last one. Yeah. Um, so that is uh, 11, 15, so 26 plus 20, so 46 points of damage against him. Uh, oh, and my, I have advantage, yeah? So I have sneak attack. Is it sneak once per turn? Yes. Then just four. Indeed. So that was 26, 30, 30, 50 points of damage towards him. All right, so as he's bound on the floor, helpless, was trying to resist against uh, Russ's spell, with your great sword trotting behind you, you just bring it up and you just shove it into his body. <coughs> Almost a fountain of blood spurts out from the wound in his mouth <coughs> as you withdraw it, and you hit him again. <coughs> he's uh, really hurt. So, Russ, just to confirm, was it is it just that guy that left attack that is affected or yeah because i'm not able to cast it at a higher level and target three of them if they're that far apart so i'll just cast at second level and i'll just leave it on that one guys so everything else will stay the same all right then so i'll take them off yep. being paralyzed. sorry about that should no have worries. read that read the whole thing okay um it's me yes yes it is and for one round um The fact that they're not paralyzed makes me sad. However, as I start to draw my bow, I, I hear Russ yell after me to stab them, so I put my bow away and I run towards him. Ah. Um, that's as far as I can go, but I kind of want to imagine me jumping onto the wall and just like slashing at him from there. Nice. Uh, da -da -da, but I will not get. I will have activated my uh, dagger of venom. Yep. Because I don't get sneak attack, so that I make up for it. Oh my god, come on, mouse. They did do the right one. Yeah, 23 to hit. 23 definitely hits. Oh my. Oh man. What? That's not right. That's Dagger that Venom should be like. Oh shit, no. That... Oh, I did the wrong one, that's why. Are you going with Purple Death? I, I am going with Purple Death, and I ticked the yeah. wrong thing on my thing. I will. No, no, it's good. 
Do -do -do. This is a different bonus. We'll go with that roll, but that is to the head. Oh, look oh, at all them sixes! That is beautiful! Hey. <laughs> About time, eh? Right, yeah, really is. DC here. 19, do not make it. Natural yeah. one. <laughs> I think this so guy's fucked. Is... 73 uh, points of damage. 73 points of damage. So yeah, as basically, as you just hop over, it's like he's <laughs> dealing with the wound, and as he looks up, you, you're you there, and then you're not, because you're already behind him, like that. <clears throat> his head just falls off his body. <laughs> Poison yep, pouring out of his skull. Dead. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that is me. Um, nice. All right. So, Arabella, it's your turn. Okay. Um, so, is this guy up and behind a pillar, or is it level? Uh, which guy, sorry? This boy. Yeah, no, he is. Um, he has half cover at the moment, uh, but you can you can't see him, and he's definitely up. Okay. Um, so, if I was to go there. I, I assume he'd still have half cover. Uh, yeah, it's because he's just got a little bit of elevation on you, really. So. Yeah, that's not a problem. So it means my shooting's with disadvantage, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, so no, no. I'm... You're not shooting a disadvantage. You just got. He just has a, a a plus to his AC. That's all. Oh, okay. Um. Then I'm going to try and shoot him with my squib. Okay. So that's. 16. 16, unfortunately, is a miss. No, that's this not one, a it, it looks like it's true, however, he just ducks behind the pillar and it goes ding, 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 off the, off the rock. Yeah, so I'm going to do another one, and this one's going to be one of my magic arrows. It's going to be the, like, vine one that binds and... Yep. Yeah, grasp an arrow, I think it's called. So awesome. that is damage for the squib, and then it's... I believe it's a D6 on hit. Let me just double check. Da -da. Arrow strikes. Uh, the creature is hit by an arrow and takes an extra 2D6 poison damage. Nice. Um, and its speed is reduced by 10 feet. Okay, one sec. Lovely. And if it moves <laughs> if he, one foot or more... Yeah, it moves any feet, he takes more piercing damage, doesn't he? Yeah, he takes 2d6 slashing damage if he tries to move. Nice. Um, nice. And he has to do a su successful strength check to get out of it. Nice. Um, so it's a total oh, of... Cool. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so um, as you fire the, the second one, boom, it hits him in these... It hits him, like, through his arm, and it hits as, like, embeds into the pillar behind him, and then the arrow itself bursts forth with the vines, which wrap around him and pin him into uh, the pillar itself. He's got his arms free, but he's like, you can, you can see the fawns digging into his body. All right. Um, left. Your passive perception picks up rumbling from the ground. Mm. It is their turn. They are going to follow their orders. So they are going to tar all of them are going to target Verity. Uh, they have got assassinate, which means they have an attack roll against you uh, at advantage. So there are one two, three, four, five that can fire at you, Verity. The other one is paralyzed. So, one, two, three, four, five. Do any of them miss, Verity? Oh, wait. Okay. I'm going to need five constitution saving throws from you, please. Okay. I'm going to roll them, but don't give me the results straight away because I might need to use luck on some of them. 
Sure, sure. 17, okay. I'll keep that. Yep. I have 17 AC. I think the 29 passes. 29 is fine. 17, stick with it. 16, stick with it. Yeah. Stick it all stick. with all of them? Yeah. Alright, so they all save. You save all of them. The DC is 15. Uh, so you will take half damage from the poison. Yay. Alright. Danger. Yeah. All right, so I'll do the crit last. One, two. Tell me the end number. I'll three, just take it away from my thing. Four. All right, so that's uh, 14, 21, uh, 32 points of piercing damage. And then let's calculate this. Do -do -do. Calculator. I make it 40 or 81. 41, depending plus on whether you're rounding up or down. 21 plus 19 plus 23 divided by 2. So you go 40 points of poison damage. And now for the crit. So that is, I rolled an 8, 16, another 19 points of piercing damage. And we won't double that 23. It'll just be 23 points of poison damage. Either way, I'm down. <laughs> and then I will now roll the sneak attacks. So If it goes over, like, uh, hold two, on. So if it goes over your maximum hit points, then that's an instant kill. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking. Every twice, is it, isn't it double your max hit points? No, no. So her max. What's your maximum hit points, Severity? One hundred twenty-seven. So if I meet, uh, if so when you go down to zero, if I then meet one hundred twenty-seven more points of damage, yeah, that's an yeah. instant kill. Okay, so right. the damage from the poison, because I was at one hit point after the nineteen, so then the poison damage right, took so me the 20, one. So twenty-two plus whatever these are. Right. So. And then this this sneak attack will be double because it's the crit. Hold on, there's only five people attacking her. Oh, did you mean that last one will be okay? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. Actually, sorry, ignore that last one. Uh, so yeah, there was only five. So that that first sixteen that's doubled to thirty-two. That's 104. Oh, this is, yeah. There are, five, there are five assassins, Russ, that can attack. So that's 100 and... Um, it's 115 plus the 20, 23 poison. 115. So 137. So that is an instant kill, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Tell them. Hey guys, he they're sucks. following orders. <sighs> so, you guys watch as Verity gets riddled with crossbow arrows, and you can see her, her blue skin now turn a violent shade of green as the poison spreads through her body. Uh, Verity, what would, your, what would your final moments be in this situation? Of course the cleric's gone now. Shit! And with that, Verity collapses down to the ground and stops moving. Uh, at the end of their turn, the, the other guy's going to make a wisdom saving throw at the end of his turn. Uh, no, no. He's, oh, in fact, no. Hell. Hold on. One of those guys is paralyzed. He can't. Sh no. No, yeah, there's six of them. So one of them but I've already attack. killed one. Is one, there another one two, I'm not seeing? There's one yeah, in the, the front right. 
Yeah, there's five oh, different shirts. Oh, sorry, yeah. Okay, I didn't, the, I didn't see the one. Right, that's my bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Verity is unfortunately dead. OT, it's your turn. Well, I'm going to carry on Firebolt in the guy up here. Yep, make that attack roll. Eleven, unfortunately, is a miss. This one hits into the part of the cliff itself. And I'm just going to duck down. Okay, so you'll give yourself, um, <coughs> I'd say, three quarters cover if you're ducking down. Yeah. Okay. Anything else from you, OT? Nope. All right. Avrenus, you're up. Avrenus is about to unlock levels in Barbarian because he is going to rage... Uh, and he is going to run to this guy, throw in his action yep. dash, and start slashing away. All right, then. Yes, Rust did get his second attack. 31 is definitely a hit. Well damage. Woo! Yeah, Rogue's only fun for a little while. <laughs> I had a 70 on point first round, but a 10 point second round. So as you swing around the rock, the guy has just finished like lo reloading his crossbow. You're already there. You go to slash towards his face. He ducks the side. You just get him across the uh, across the shoulder. He pushes you away. That is me. All right, Russ, you're up. Um, I'm gonna be pretty pissed as well. I won't see which of them. Hit Verity, uh, but I'll quadruple Eldritch Blast at the one in the lower left corner. Let me ping him. That guy there, yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll just do that. Eldritch Blast. That's a hit. That's a hit. That's a miss. And that's a hit. So three hits. Nine. 23. 23, 23, 23, 33, 33, 38 points of fourth damage. You can yeah. see him riddled with the butt with the blast. <laughs> um, he's almost blasted away, like his cover is almost is pretty much ruined. Um the I'd say the uh the pillar he's actually attached to breaks. And falls down on top of him because he is held to it by the grasping fans. So go ahead and roll a d12 for me, Russ. So he takes another four points of bludgeoning damage as he's crushed by the pillar and he is prone uh, and unable to get up. Okay. Bonus action I would like to inspire Ari. Yep. And I'll just be like. Don't miss. None of us can miss now. And I'll just kind of... Yeah, I, I don't know. Just be fucking angry. Okay. Right, Ari, you are inspired. Left, it's your turn. Um, Left will shout out. Your comrade may be dead, but the battle wages on. There's something in the ground. Um, as he strikes out again. All right. He's still paralyzed. Uh-huh. Uh, these will also be with uh, Great Weapon Master. Okay. That's a hit. That's a hit. It's, is it minus five? To yeah, attack? minus five. So that's, that 20 is still a hit. Oh, shit. Fair. So three lots of damage then. And sneak again. So 14, uh, 26, 38, plus 30, uh, 68, plus 3, 71. Lovely. So, yeah, you just bring your he your sword down. He's like, no, 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 no! And off with his head. A surprising amount of finesse and... and <laughs> um, 
precision with his cuts, despite being a, such a large individual. Mm. Um, with that, he will take off, just bolting towards the next individuals because he uh, doesn't know that these aren't cultists. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Your, your weapon, is it a finesse weapon? No, greatsword. Then you don't sneak get sneak. Attack a, sneak attack doesn't apply then. Oh, doesn't it? No, it, it only applies it has for to be a um, finesse weapon or a ranged weapon. Finesse or, finesse or ranged weapon. That's very disappointing then. Never mind, so take back three damage. If he's no, still fine. alive he's after already, that. He's still, he's still dead. He's still okay. very dead. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> I don't play rogues. <laughs> So left charge is off down there. Okay. So, <sighs> Arabella, as you're looking at Verity, you feel the rumble yourself as the ground itself begins to pillar esque upwards like a inverse sandcastle. And then you see a horned, blue scaled head. Us from the ground. A blue dragon bursts from the sands. And he goes to make one bite and two claw attacks against you, uh, Arabella. Fifteen, eighteen, and twenty. Uh, so my AC is 18. So that's one hit, uh, two hits with the claws then. So you're able to dodge out of the way from the bites, but the claws come out and you slash it into your body, uh, dealing 13 and 11. So 24 points of slashing damage. All right. So Ari, it's your turn. Did I get hit last time? My health was down. Well, it wasn't full. Uh... No? I think there was a small little bit of combat that we did that was chain lightning or something. Um, no, oh, yeah, no, oh. yeah, no. Ver Ver Verity hurt everybody with some lightning. That was it. Yes, yeah. it was um, uh, wild magic. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to assume that I absorbed elements. I think you did, yeah. I did, uh, probably. <laughs> okay, I'm only asking because my spell slots. I definitely did say that you would, but I don't know who's actually controlling you. I can't remember. Hmm. Okay, I'll knock down a spell slot just in case. Um, no okay, I am going to see Vectra rise up out of the sand. That's I'm going... not Vectra. That's not Vectra. That's a, that's a Ari isn't going to be thinking. Um, Ari no is going to see Blue Dragon. She's going to assume it's Vectra. She's going to be like, fucking perfect. I am furious. After getting attacked, she is going to kind of kind of do a Renas as well. Kind of go barbarian level for a minute. She is going to scream. She is going to jump, and she is using her daggers like claws against this dragon. Um, not the best uh, thing in the world. Right, it's been so long since I actually used um, melee weapons. <laughs> do, do, where are my daggers? Daggers plus three. So it's not much. Thank you. But that's my first one and my second one. Two seventeens. Uh, you sink the daggers into them. Do you want to apply your bardic inspiration for any of those? Um, I'll apply it for the second one. Sure. As if you specify which one, as if it makes any difference. Well, uh, oh, yeah. Roll the dead for me. Oh, so yeah, the second one will be 27. Oh no, I need to roll a d10. Ugh, it's yeah, not an awesome roll, first yeah. 10. There we go, it'll be 19. That's 19, okay. So the first one, um, your focus is lost. And in the blind rage, you just can't find the purchase. But in the second one, you find um, a weak link in the relatively younger scales of this blue dragon. And you shove the dagger in. Uh, so the second one is a hit. Okay. So we'll go for that. It's not going to be an awful lot, but there we go. You hear, you see the dragon strike. <laughs> Did not enjoy that. Um, and let's have a think of what I can do if I decide to action surge. Um, I'll bonus action Hunter's Mark on it anyway. 
Probably okay. should have done that before I jumped on it. But, All you know. Right. It is marked. And I will. And. Oh, that's a shame. If I had a bit of sand in my hand, if I shoved my arm into its mouth and cast spike growth, could I like get a load of spikes growing out of that bit of sand? Like in this dragon's throat. <laughs> um okay. Sorry, it just it says ground. So what, you, you try, I'm, I'm not growth. going We've... to it's it's okay. not yeah. Like it's it's not feasible. It's just because it says ground and obviously Ari's pissed. Um I was just being a dick. I mean it's a creative solution if you shoved his mouth back into the sand. Then I, if Ari was stronger, I would definitely try it. But Ari isn't very strong, which is why it was a case of if she could shove something in its gob. I see. So is yeah. there anything else from you then? Um, that'll probably be it now. Like she'll probably oh. grab onto the dragon just to make sure, like, just to yeah. Basically, okay. keep a purchase on it and probably just scream, rage, slamming, scratching, right. not doing any actual damage, but distraught attacks. Okay. Attacks. All right, so it's the Trusayer Assassin's turn. So the one up here says, The Weave Breaker is down! Withdraw! One, two, three, four, five, and he's gonna get out. Off the map, these two over here will draw off of the map. This guy here is gonna, you're gonna get an opportunity to attack Renus. Thirty ones a hit. Yeah! Slash into his back as he's running. That's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Uh, he's going to turn around and fire a shot at you, Renus, as he's running. He does not have advantage on this. Eight. Shing! Pass your head. Alright. Uh, this guy is going to try a, and break the um, uh, the vines around him. So it's a it's a strength check against your uh, DC. Is that right, Ari? It's a strength check against. I did put it in chat. Sorry, I'm looking at what CR two beasts there are. Um, trying to remind myself of everything that Ari can actually do. Uh, d d um, it's an athletics <coughs> check. So it's an athletics check against my spell save DC, which I believe is sixteen. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, he's acrobatic, not athletic, so... Oh, he's he does break him. out. Wow. So yeah, he breaks out, but he's going to utilise all of his movement to get the pillar off of him and stand up, uh, ready to basically get the fuck out of there. All right. Verity is down. OT, you're up. Well, I now know that Verity's down. I've now exited roll 20. Because fuck this mouse. I'm going to move towards the uh, dragon. Um, I'm going to rage. Yep. With the ancestral protectors up. <laughs> and I can only get to there. Um, I'm going to dash and get one, two, three, over here to the side of the dragon. And I can see Verity's there and kind of, if I can, kind of like move her out of the way and get in the way. Okay, so yeah, basically you'll interject yourself between her body and the effectively the dragon's mouth slash claws. Yeah. Nice. All right, so that is any bonus action. No, your bonus action was to bonus rage. Bonus action yeah, was to rage, yeah. 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 All right, Renus, you're up. 
Vanas is running down. <coughs> Five, six. Dropping his shield and bringing out another dagger. And diving off this little thing onto the dragon. Yeah! At him. Yep. There's a crit. Lovely. That will be nice. So the sneak attack is doubled. Even though I ticked the thing, it decided not to actually fucking do it. I hate this sheet. It is eight. I think if I wait too, if I do it too quick after ticking it, it just doesn't actually go through. One, two, three, seventeen. So seventeen damage, and then the sneak attack. Yes. Try it again. No, but it really doesn't like it. I will fucking do it manually. What am I up to? Eight d six. So a nice 60. So, 60. so 60 plus, what was it, um, 17. So 77 points of damage, lovely. So as you're flying through the air, screaming Renus, the head of this dragon is sort of like guided towards this sound and you land right on its snout and you can see electricity crackles out from its teeth before you get the dagger and just sink it into one of its eyes. <laughs> He starts tossing and turning and throws you off of him. You flip through the air, land on the ground. Um, but yeah, he's really hurt. And just because I did drop my shield to bring out another dagger, I may as well stab him with the other one as well. Nice. Uh, so that's 16 to hit. Uh, 16, unfortunately, oh, okay. he's thrashing around too much that you just miss purchase with your blade. Roger, Roger. Then that is me. Okay. Your inspiration. Oh, I do have inspiration. Oh yeah, you that... want to roll your inspiration? Yeah, so I will. I will take the inspiration. Twenty-five to hit. That's yeah. That's definitely a hit. I mean, we do a lot. But have another ten damage. So you've foreseen the um the the, the attack, but then remembering mm. what Russ said to you, you're like, not today. And you just sort of take an extra step forward and break one of the scales, piercing him through the belly. <laughs> okay. Russ, it's your turn. Uh, to still aim with my Eldritch Blast through the assassin that's in the bottom left corner until he goes down. And then I uh, want yes, to aim so. at the dragon with my remaining beams. Do I, do I need to announce beforehand who I'm going to hit with what? Or... Uh, just announce it as you go. So the first attack okay. is on the, um, on the assassin. On, on the man, yes. That's a hit. You blow away one of his limbs, but he's still standing. <laughs> Second one is a hit. Oh, bad rolls. This one blasts him back into the wall. He topples over, and you don't see him get up again. All right, screw it. Well, other two are going to the dragon. Okay. That's Ooh. a hit, and that's a miss. So that's 15 points of force damage as you blow off part of the scales from the blue dragon. Alright, anything else from you, Russ? I will... Uh... No, I'll leave it at that for now. Alright, left, you're up. Uh, movement, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30... Um, action to dash, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, bonus action, uh, rage. Okay. Uh, so, <gasps> yeah, so, so whatever kind of precision and elegance that, that, um, left previously had is just kind of thrown to the wayside is, is wolf. Um, pelt that covers his head, his shoulders, um, the hairs on that, um, all kind of tackle up, and he kind of gets on all threes as he wields his greatsword kind of with one hand and just starts swinging quite wildly. Um, if you do make a melee attack against this dragon, you have advantage, so keep that in mind. Nice. Um, but I will make these as reckless. Your action was to dash, wasn't it? And then, oh, action surge. Oh, action surge, right there. Yep, that's a hit. That's a hit. That's a hit. 14. 
and then two rage for each of those hits. Yeah. So, so Two points of damage. Um, left, how do you want to kill the dragon? Um, left will just carve off each wing, um, crawl, you know, kind of <laughs> running up its its back as as he as he scales the dragon. Um, <sighs> each each one, and then just goes in for a, a, a like he's stabbing with a dagger, but it's it's a great sword just into the jugular, and then. Carve off. As it does, a bound of electricity bursts forth from the neck. He goes, Aah! gets a more ball falls in and falls over onto his side, his head hitting into the ground. His body slowly slid, sinking into the sands. Nice. Alright. So, dragon is down. Arabella, you're up. There's one enemy left on the field, and he's retreating. Don't think he's Very retreating. Very far away. Um, I'm going to zoom out. See if I can remember what the distance is for a bow. Oops, well, I rolled it, so um, I, I well, guess I'm shooting it. It's a, but a, a, a longbow is 150 to 300 feet. Okay, then he's well within, so yeah, I am yeah. shooting him, and it's going to be another grasp and arrow because the other dude got out of mine. Nice. Pass the damage, and there is the poison. Right, so as the uh, arrow hits him in the leg, boom, the arrow is boom, 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 around his body. <laughs> you can see him struggling against this. Um, and then I'm going to shoot him again. All right, then. That's another hit. For 16. 16 points of damage. This one hits him square in the back, and he almost falls down to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> He's really struggling to move now. And I will slowly walk after him. So let's kind of get up off the dragon and just like. Oh, is. Uh, it is his turn. He's going to try and. Um... He's going to move. Is he restricted to half movement? Uh, his speed is 10 feet less. Um, and the right. second he moves more than a foot, he takes uh, piercing damage. Yeah, roll the damage. Slashing. Slashing. Oh, so many different types of damage. Um, it's 2d6 slashing damage. Yeah. Another eight points of dash. <laughs> you can see him, like, the, gra the grasping vines, like, trying to stick to the ground, um, constantly just, like, rowing over his skin, and he's tearing off his own flesh, trying to get away desperately. Um, yeah, he's real hurt. He's going to get to there. He can't really move any further. OT, you're up. Um, I um, I don't have any plans to go after this guy. Um, yeah. like in character, she's pretty upset right now, and she's gonna yeah. stay over here. Um, I have no intention to go after that guy though. So okay, no forfeit in a turn, whatever you want to call it. But I'm I'm not moving. No here. worries. All right, Renis, you're up. I am going after that guy. Okay. Um, mainly because I've decided that I want to interrogate him. I can't actually reach him, though, to be fair. I know. I know. Oh, oh unless I counted wrong. Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I can get, like, just short. I can get to there. I have bonus action dash, by the way. Well, yes, but then I can't do anything when I get there. Oh, that's tempting, actually. Yes, I will action dash as well. Okay. And come around the other side of him. All right. So as he's struggling against his things in a brief flash of silver, and the burst of, like, you know, like, think of it like a road runner in the, in the desert. <laughs> uh, the Like a, a funnel of dust and sand 
where Ren has travelled through it, and he's already there, and the guy's like, ah! He's like, terrified of you suddenly appearing there. I'm just gonna like, hold my daggers. Do not fucking move. Make an intimidation check. Please roll 20. Take longer to open my sheet. Mm -hmm. There we go. 24. In that brief moment, he weighs up his options. And then he drops his dagger and his crossbow. And says, All right. And with that, I'd say combat has come to a close. The other assassins seem to have withdrawn from the area as quickly as possible. The guys that escaped, I want their names, I want their addresses, I want to know everything about them. Renas is going on a hunting spree. I, and I, 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 I don't know anything about them, they've just, I was just assigned in the same squad as them. And you didn't talk at all your whole way here. Uh, only about the mission. Do I believe him? Make an insight check. I believe that was a roll of a 14, to be fair, so, you know, could be worse. Beats it, beats it. You get the feeling that he is definitely holding something back. Well, the bad news is, I don't believe you. <sighs> the good news is, that means I don't kill you right away. The bad news is, that hurts more. Start being truthful. So it's at this point in which Ari comes around the corner. She's currently holding the fiend bow, so she is looking as if she's on fire. Her eyes are red. She is furious. And she'll kind of lean around the corner as she's looking like she's on fire and just be like, "Yeah, I imagine you're going to be talking to us and you're going to say everything truthfully. Make an intimidation check, Ari. With advantage, because you're on fire. Whoa. This girl is on fire. Just shame I'm shit at intimidation. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's a time shit. for a nat 20. I get a plus 11 and you're one lower than me. <laughs> Guys. Huh. All right. All right. I, I, I surrender. I assume that you are honoring the, the, the terms of combat in, in, engagement. I will honor the terms and I will not kill you until you've given me all the information I need. If you speak quickly enough, maybe I won't kill you at all. What do you, what do you want to know? I want to know the names, the addresses, and where I can find the rest of your group. I, I don't know where they live. Um, names was uh, Slice, Rob, Risha. Keratin and our leader was Edward. Where did you all train? Where where can I find these people? Why the fuck did you kill my sister? We were ordered to by the truth sayer. Well, you should find someone better to take orders from because two of your friends are dead. It's not looking good for you. I'm sure your mission is complete, but uh, we were we were told that there was a chance that you would come to the frontier, and that we were to wait for our opportunity. We were given a dragon to help ensure the success of our mission. Yeah, the dragon's dead too. You just got some lucky shots off. Well done. But you won't be trying that shit again. I don't know what more well, I could. I, I can tell you, we, 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 I, I trained in the capital. 
Where, where was your rendezvous point from here? We were. Uh, we were meant to travel south to Forward, where we will be reassigned to our next mission. Travelling on foot? Uh, by horse. Damn. Valas almost ran off then. He doesn't have a horse. Okay, any other information you have for me that, you know, might be useful for me to know? I don't know what would be useful for you to know. So what you're saying is you're no use to me? I, I, I know I, I, I know plenty of things, but it really depends on what it is you want to know. Uh, I want to know how to bring her back to life. Holy magic priests? I don't know. Do you see a cleric among us? We were expecting the, the voice of Moradin to be here. Well, he's busy killing other guys. We were told that to kill the Weavebreaker, to send a message, that you weren't safe. We were fully aware that the voice of Moradin would most likely bring her back, but our mission was to send a message. Harry, anything else you want? I need to go back. Do with them what you will. I've, I've answered your questions. I surrendered. Congratulations. I stabbed him in the throat. <coughs> the blood pours out onto the hilt of the blade as you withdraw it. <clears throat> he like, sort of lurches forward and you sort of kind of grab him a little bit and you see the light beneath his eyes as you just toss him into the side for the sands to claim his body. Wipe my hands clean on his tunic and walk off. Russ, OT, what were you guys doing whilst they were doing that? Um, I'd be uh, by Verity absolutely panicking because Russ was not expecting that to happen. He'd be kind of just like walking around like freaking out like oh my god, oh my god, oh my god and just I don't know, just like frantically looking through his stuff and seeing if there's anything he can do and just realising that there isn't. And then I'll start yelling at left and I'll be like we 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 have to get her somewhere we can't just we can't lose her just do you know anyone who can who can sort this can you take us please I'll just be yeah harassing left globally I will speak to the magnate we will see what can be done for your friend we probably need to head directly back like we we can't waste time I, I we, she can't die. No, we, we we need to go there as soon as possible. Um, what sort of time are we looking at now? Um, I believe it's evening. evening have evening has just begun. So yeah, the, the sun has set. Okay, so it's not like like middle of the night. We're going to wake anyone up. Okay. Um, I mean, I'll be waking people up. <laughs> Don't give a shit about that. If they were asleep, I wouldn't care. That's fine. You take that elsewhere. You take that energy and go elsewhere. Um, I'm going to very gently pick Verity up. Um, and I'm going to go through her things. Um, because I... I want to just see what if she's got any gems or diamonds on her. I thought Verity had some as well. <clears throat> if... Verity, you can just confirm if you have any on you. Just, you know, I will take those. I have the... two 300 gold piece worth diamonds. Okay, so that's going to be something. So Correct I'll put those... Correct me if I'm wrong. A long, long, long time ago, in a when you were in the bowl. Underdark, um, and you were going for the maze, did you, uh, when you found the journal, did you not pick up a spell scroll for a vivify? I think we used it. 
Mm. Why would we have used it? If we found it in the Underdark, I imagine that would have been an attempt to raise Mal Malkaya? Because weren't we looking for something at that time? No revivify. No. No, was that raised dead? Mm -hmm. I do not have it on my list. Um, I sworn you guys picked it up. This is where, like, oh, Rocky died. If, 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 if you don't have it, then you don't have it, basically. So. I'm just going to go through it again to make sure. There is in there an amulet of relentless endurance, which Verity is going to take after this. Um, because it's the second time now. So, you are holding Verity gently, OT. As Ari comes back over to you, Followed shortly by Renus. Um, you can see the body of the assassin left in the dirt and the dust behind him. Renus killing someone. I don't think anyone's going to blink an eye at that. Fairly used to it by now. Um, if there's no qualms, then left. As, as soon as the group reconvenes, left will just start at a, at a quickened pace, start leading back to um, the magnate, basically. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So. Picking up the old Verity and getting going. Very carefully picking up Verity. Not the old Ver Verity. Like, she, I'm like cradling her in my arms. <laughs> yeah. So you guys swiftly leave the area. And woe behold, anyone that gets in our way. I grabbed my shield before I left as well, though. Right okay. Before you what? <laughs> I said, woe uh, behold, anyone that gets in our way. On the way out, left, can you roll a d20 for me, please? Mm-hmm. Fine. On your hastened way out, you can you do hear the sounds of combat, um, not within eyesight, but definitely within earshot. Probably uh, coming somewhat from the west a little bit, uh, behind probably a few of the buildings that are sort of ruined around. Um, it's up to you whether or not you guys want to divert to go see, or if you just want to keep on moving. Somewhat west is that somewhat south as well. Uh, no, you guys are heading pure south from, okay. where, you're, from I, where you were. We were, uh, so maybe, maybe the assassins ran off down there, because I know they went south, so if we went south and they're kind of level with them. They went north. Oh, I'm sure he said south. No, you, your guys went south, the assassins ran off north. Okay, that's well, it's not the assassins, and therefore I don't care. Hmm. Yeah, Ari would just want to get back, um, to... Uh, just be saying really weird things to Verity as they're walking past, ad admonishing her for dying again about how this is the second time. Mm. And that she uh, <coughs> needs to make her less squishy. Like, it, not in a, a nasty way, but more in a, like, yeah. you know, tears, crying yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. Because you went too far into the ruined taints. Uh, you guys are able to get out to the outskirts of where you initially made your way in, where the checkpoint of Oasis Spears are. Um, they salute you as you're coming out, and then they kind of, their jaws drop immediately as they see the Paragon of Justice clutching a dead weave breaker in her arms. And it's kind of like the moment where they realize that their, their, their heroes are vulnerable or something. Good. <clears throat> vulnerable and yet still willing to like risk our lives defending them that's the important message mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you guys leave the ruined taints and start making way back across the frontier the streets are quite deserted at night um, aside from the odd patrol of Oasis Spears that you see you are able to make your way over to the Magnate's Temple in about probably takes you about 
half an hour, maybe a little bit longer because of the pace you're traveling at. <clears throat> you make your way up to the, uh, the main entrance itself. Um, there are some servants there that greet you and immediately see the gravity of the situation. Um, you can see the, 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 the head uh, butler there, um, the custodian, is like, Oh, um, welcome back. The, um, uh, what can we do to assist you? You need to take me to the mag magnate now. The magnate is in his chambers. Come quickly, please. So they yeah, quickly, quickly, they quickly rush you through <clears throat> the um, uh, the halls and the structure of the temple itself, bringing you up to near enough the top floor. Um, the custodian brings you to a simple set of doors, which he knocks on, and they hear the voice enter, uh, come from within. He opens up the doors and sort of ushers you in, and inside you see um, a nice office, well, a kind of a living slash working area, really. It's got a balcony that looks out over into the city of the frontier itself. There's a lot of plants around here. Um, a few oddities, knickknacks, art, arts depicting dragons, or an art style that you're just not familiar with in Windward. <clears throat> uh, quite a few books on the walls, uh, a few gems sort of placed in a kind of displays of you know, artistry and the like. Uh, and you can see the, uh, the gold dragonborn, Nixual. Uh, sitting on his chair, currently huffing a pipe from a hooker, um, going over some transcripts of scrolls as he sees you guys come in. <clears throat> oh, welcome back. Uh, is your mission successful already? And then um, he sees Bosey come in. Left will drop to one knee and just, my lord magnate. The Weave Breaker has fallen in combat. We need a cleric of <laughs> renowned power to return her to the land of the living. You can see he's racking his brains. He says. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, we just don't, don't, don't have that level of uh, uh, of holiness here. Yeah, we have minor clergymen, um, few priests, no, no one of the, the, the level of, of a resurrection. Uh, th those, those were always the capital's forte. What about the, the, the their companion, the one that isn't here, the the, the, the vocal voice of Moradin? Do you, so, is he not a, a holy man? He is. Do, do you have anyone that that is capable of casting teleportation circle that would be able to activate it and get us there? Unfortunately, Verity was our teleportation circle caster too. And and I'm, 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 so, I'm sorry, I I I I I I, 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 I don't know. Not particularly. Oh, oh, oh. Which is not that well provisioned here. What? What do you normally do when someone dies around here? We bury them. Bury them. <laughs> Don't know. Seems suspicious. No. There's... Death is a normal facade of the frontier. Assassination isn't. Well, I thought you were going to say a normal part of your life, sorry. Uh, the frontier has been subject to great brutalities in the past, and the ever presence of demons and cults hangs in the air. Unfortunately, death is a natural 
almost common occurrence here. But this is not the death of a civilian. This is the death of the Weave Breaker, one of <laughs> the people. Um, I am very sorry for your loss, and if there was anything I could do to help, I would. But unfortunately, we are the most um, ill-prepared city in Windward. We have been burnt dry for many years. We just simply do not have the resources to give. If I had it, I would give it to you, but I just don't have. I'm sorry. Thank you. To be found here. Thank, Thank you, you very much for your time, good magnate. Have a swell evening. I will take my leave. Did Left just say swell? <laughs> <laughs> my sincerest condolences for your loss. She is not lost yet. Worst thing than this have happened. I mean, this did happen. This is this is not the first time. She'll be fine. She'll be well. Will be fine. She, she's officially died more than me now. She's never gonna let me live it down. Be careful. She may kill you when she comes back. Just to change that. Are we leaving? Are you leaving? Yeah. yeah. If left leaves, then I'll follow left. <laughs> yeah. Um. So you guys now find yourself outside the office. The custodian bows and leaves the area. Come with me. And left will lead everyone outside. Takes you about another 10 15 minutes to get outside of the Magnates Temple, but you find yourselves, if you follow left, um, at the front entrance with the large stone steps that lead down from the temple itself. Um, assuming left can find somewhere that has some privacy. Um, oh yeah, there are, there are plenty of like pillars around where there's not really anybody with them, and it's night time. Well, it's really but, not that much traffic. Um, left will turn just to the group and say. I have multiple roles within this city. I will take you to someone who can help your friend. But be warned, they will likely want for a favor in return. They can pretty much have whatever they want. That... Uh... Well, I can well, have it within reason. We're out of better ideas, so... Um, how far away is the place, Jack? On foot? Yeah. Um, hold on. About three days. We may either begin our journey now and arrive in three days or we can sleep and acquire transport in the morning. Is there definitely someone there that can help us? I believe so. Don't think sleep's going to happen. But maybe a rest would be, be best. How long would transport take to get there? How much quicker would it be? Probably twice as quick, I'd assume, Jack. Like, yeah, camel yeah, horses, twice, camels, but... whatever. <clears throat> yeah, yeah um, alternatively, you could try and get wyverns and fly there. Ooh, that would take you about a day. That sounds quick. <coughs> Where do you get wyverns from, left? Oh, the... The Wyvern stable. How, I, I mean, I couldn't have possibly worked that out, so. God, I asked. 
Oh, okay, one well, bits. Um, then yeah, I I say we go up there and get one. We couldn't possibly go up there and arrange wyverns now, get a rest, and then grab them first thing in the morning and shoot off. Had we actually arranged somewhere to stay for the night? No. No. You know that the Magnate's Temple is open to you for... I mean, I would have stayed rest. in the House of Cleansing, but, you know, I'm, I'm not really in the mood anymore. Different kind of cleansing. We can certainly arrange for Wyverns, I'm sure. We can... We, they, they may be shut, I do not know, but I... I... The Wyvern Pits is not really a shop, it's more of a training area. Um... However, you do carry some sway as the right-hand man of the Magnate. I, I can likely pull some favours. Okay, let's head there now then and make sure we can get some and that everything's good. I'm probably no. not going to go with you because I don't really want to be traipsing a dead corpse around the city. That's fine. I am sure that the Magnate's Temple can find accommodation for us. Ultimately, I do live and sleep there, so there is room for guests. Okay, well, I'll go back to the temple and, and just try and find <laughs> rooms for us, or whether it be one or two big rooms. Probably near us. Um, yeah, the, effectively, some of the more nicer rooms uh, would be prepared for you, and we're talking like um, <clears throat> similar to what the Magnet had. Um, you know, nice velvet... Uh, carpets and drapes, uh, a big old balcony. Think, um, think Princess Jasmine's room from Aladdin. Is, is it Back. multiple beds or is it just one bed in a room? Uh, just one bed in a room. I will move all the beds so that all the beds are in one room. The, um, the servants wish to help you with that, if you would let them. <laughs> but only picking up like two beds at a time, and just like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> like, they can take the bedding, like, if they want to take the bedding to help, but I will take the yeah, beds. Yeah, they'll help, they'll help. They can make they the bed, they're they, they, they are quite, um, shocked at the, the complete lack of decor, but, um, if that's what you want, then that's what they will acquiesce to. Yeah, like, I'll set up, obviously I won't set one up for left, because I, left said that they had a room here, so i let left deal with themselves but for us i will make a make up beds put beds in the room make a bed for verity and put it to one side and like everyone has their own little space in it basically yeah yeah did you take the arrows out of verity or did you leave them in her oh no i didn't say i probably would have left them in there <laughs> yeah because it's dangerous to take them out right it's the worst thing you can do i mean they're already dead but still it's the right thing you can do for a life person. Ari probably would have taken them out because okay. Verity is dead. Is that our disgusting bloodlust? Like it doesn't matter. Take them out. A bit more gentle than pop, 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 but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, who goes to the Wyvern Pits with left? Is it Renus, Russ, and Ari? Yeah, I will be going. Yeah. Right. So. It takes you the better part of an hour to get to that side of the city. Um, when you do, there are not as many buildings around here. There's some like a wide open thing, like the Colosseum in Rome sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> however, the inside is, instead of it being a sand pit, it just kind of burrows down. What clearly it goes into the, 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 the many layers of the city beneath it, like the red rocks and the abandoned city it's, itself. Um, as you sort of view the area itself, uh, there are hundreds, if not at least a thousand, wyverns nested in here. You can see them uh, sort of crawling into their own little uh, kind of beehive-like holes within the walls itself. There are quite a few trains around here, and they often carry signs of degradation like some of them are missing an arm some of them have a bit of their faces melted off or there's others there, there, there's wounds basically wyverns can be quite temperamental creatures um before too long 
uh, you are approached by a bald-headed man. Uh, one of his eyes is whited out with like three large scratches over his face. Uh, he's got like sunburned skin um, and tattoos all over his like arms and his legs. And his chest is kind of exposed, where you can see uh, part of it was melted away from like an old acidic like wound. Um, left, you recognize this guy uh, as the head tamer of the Wyvern Pits, a man uh, by the name of Lyson. Good eve, head tamer. Left. Been a while Welcome. since we've seen you around here. What do we owe the pleasure? Calling in a favor. You already owe me a couple favors. What now? Then add this to the magnates tab. Oh. I need I five wyverns. Why five? Yes. When? In the morning. First thing tomorrow. Uh, how long? Two days tops. Uh, uh, Alright. I'll see what I can do. You're a good man, Lightning. Uh, not that good. Charging the magnate, of course. He won't notice. Who'll be riding them? Myself and the me, broad, the, broad, party. the broadcasted ones up here. It gives you all look up and down. Like there is a hint of recognition there, but um, he has like a distrustful, disapproving look about him. He says. Any of you ever ridden Rivens before? No, but how hard can it be? Ridden a dragon. The dragon. Didn't we all drive Wyverns out of the dragon's place? The silver dragon's Wyverns? Hmm. I think we did. Actually. Dragons are the natural predator of the Wyverns. In fact, they might be the only predator of the Wyverns. The wyverns themselves are quite dangerous. He sort of references the scars on his body as he says so. Well, luckily we killed a nearby dragon for you, so they should, shouldn't bother the rest of your little wyvern herd. Hmm. Killing something and taming it are very different things. If the wyvern senses any hesitation, any trepidation, any fear, it is liable to snap around and eat you. I'll stress so I to you. the squeamish ones to hide their fear. I promise you, we have done so much more that is terrifying than riding a wyvern. You insist. I shan't press you any further. You really know what you're doing. Usually this would cost a donation of 5,000 gold pieces, 1,000 for per wyvern, but since it's the magnate, I'm just doing directly. <laughs> As I say, it's likely he won't even notice. Well, we'd be bad at this point, would we? <laughs> I'll have them ready for you tomorrow morning. And don't say I didn't warn you. Your warning is appreciated. We will pay them the respect they deserve, but they will take us where we need to go. All right, away with you then. I have business to return to. 
Lighten. Left. Lighten. Right. Where? Where is my brother? <laughs> so as we're walking away, like when we get further, like far enough away from light, and Ari will kind of look up and left and be like, "So how similar to, is it to riding a horse?" Nothing. Ah, I'll be fine. It's all good. Good luck. <laughs> Before too long, you guys make your way back towards the Magnate's Temple. The night fast approaches midnight before they arrive. OT, you were in the room with all the beds of Verity. It made as comfortable as possible. Would you have gone to sleep at this time, Oti, or would you be awake? Um, I would probably be, I'd be sitting at the end of her bed, um, watching, making sure nothing comes and gets her or anything like that. Probably dozing at this point. Make a, make a constitution check for me. I would, but I press backspace on my mouse again and I've come out of front. Oh, no! Oh, no, I need, I need a new mouse. A constitution check. Okay. 15. So, you're, you're dozing, as you say. As the night gets on and the others haven't arrived back, like, it's pretty quiet here. The air is definitely different from what it was when it was night time, or so when it was daytime, it was like stupidly hot when it was daytime. And at night time, it's pleasantly cool in the city. Out in the desert, probably it'll be a lot colder. You do notice that the air takes a sudden drop in temperature very quickly. I'm going to kind of stand up at this and take a look around, mainly at the balcony area, but standing in front of the bed still. Make a perception check. You have a look. There's a mist gathering on the balcony. Abnormal in nature. I'm guessing there's no like doors or anything like that on the balcony. No, so like, so like it's an open yeah. sort of end. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get HUD um, and I'm going to stand my ground until I yep. can work out what it is. You watch it for a full minute, and then the mist starts creeping steadily forward, like a puff, like a blanket. It starts going inside the room itself towards the bed. Still standing where I am. Um, kind of trusting, but not trusting at the same time. Trusting in the case of like, okay, it's drawn to it for some reason, but I don't know why. Okay. So, you watch as this mist goes between your feet. It simmers up around the bed. You watch it tentatively. And then the mist
mist begins to take a shape, a form of a humanoid. Do you do anything? Do I recognize the humanoid? No, it's just, it, it's basically just a misty like humanoid at the moment. So you can see heads, arms, legs, but it's like a mist. I'm gonna stand back. I'm I like out in and out of character. I've got no fucking idea what this is. Like it could be someone, for example, trying to scry on Verity and see if she's dead. It could be a ghost that's come in from it. It could be anything. So I'm just gonna kind of stand back and let it do its thing. If it starts attacking Verity in any way, then I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm oh. almost convinced that it is Verity as a player. Not gonna lie. It's Verity's new character. <laughs> um, you see this mist extend a hand and caress the cheek of Verity. And then it takes form of a white ashen hand with a red ruby ring, followed by a black coat, a red ribbon tunic, white hair, you recognize Slovo, the vampire. Oh my god. Oh my god, I forgot! <laughs> my beloved Iweave Breaker, what has happened? The darkness in my heart has been made crushingly larger. Woe is me. For the final light of my life is gone and only darkness remains. Do you do anything, I think? No, however, I remember the I remember the conversation between Slovo and Verity. Did Verity give any indication that Verity wanted to be a vampire? It does sound like a Verity thing. It sounds like a George thing. I don't know if it sounds like a Verity thing. Psst. No, I'll let Verity answer that. Do you want to be a vampire? The sunlight will really hurt. We're in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay, because Russ has a bolly, a parasol. A parasol. <laughs> and a silly hat. That won't make it okay. It really won't. Very few will we die a lot. <laughs> Do you well, want to be a vampire? <laughs> Verity. Do you want to answer OG's question? Oh, because on the one hand, being a vampire would be pretty cool. But on the other hand, it would suck. Literally. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Better being dead. Okay, that, I could, that is actually probably Verity's exact response, to be fair. Like, they don't need anything else apart from that. I mean, I I'm... did the trial option when I had that wild magic search that one time. Yeah. Um, I'm going to reach out to Slovo and I'm going to say, Oh, my friend. Do not touch me, creature of failure. You have let our most wondrous weavebreaker die. How dare you be in her presence? I mean, we're trying to do the right thing here, mate. Why don't you go away? We did our best. We kept I her alive for three years. My undead soul is forever connected to a light now extinguished and darkness remains. But perhaps in the darkness, I can find 
find her again. She need not stay this way. I can bring her back. I mean, as much as it's probably a great idea, I I don't think so. I think at the moment we need to uh, we need to have some time to grieve our poor beloved Verity. Make a persuasion roll. Oh yes, of course, because you know, zero charisma, minus one charisma. I'm sorry, cat. I just hit her. Uh, persuasion eight. He looks at you. And you've seen those eyes before, OT. You see it in the people who look down on the half orcs, but it's that that level of disgust that's you're beneath them. Slovo's not doing it because you're a half orc, Slovo's doing it because that's just Slovo. And he says You do not know the depths of my pain and what I would do to fix it. You don't know the depths of my pain, Mr. Slovo. I would suggest that you leave now. No. I will turn her. He turns towards Verity. No. No. Side. Side bash him. Get out of here. Make an opposed strength check. OT. Listen, I'm sorry, George. I fucking tried. <laughs> Rage. I don't know. You get. <laughs> Me to become a vampire. <laughs> you try to. You try to shoulder bash him, but he is a strong individual. He pushes you and sends you flying across the floor, <clears throat> right up against the wall where you left HUD. You can see him slowly. Step over Verity, beginning to open his mouth and bear his fangs towards her neck. Is I'm going to, to I'm going to take a swing with HUD. Just grab HUD and then come back. All right then. So you grab HUD, you rush towards Slova and you swing. He sees it coming in time. He dodges out of the way. <laughs> and you stand between him and Verity. And he looks at you and he says... Do you really think you can stop me? I mean, I can try. You can see his eyes now flash red as his fangs grow just a few, just about an inch or so. At least let us try. Let us try to save her first. He's not paying attention to you. He does not value your opinion in the slightest. He's going to try and get through you. But we'll call that a session there, guys, and we'll pick it up next week.